DM Dongo here with another review from the DM's Guild. This time we're looking at Serving the Squash. The pun-filled Halloween adventure never stops. Serving the Squash by Florian Emmerich and Alice Klippinger. This is currently pay what you want on the DM's Guild, though any money you push towards this will go to the Extra Life Charity, a great charity that you should donate to anyways, um, and this is a great little adventure. So, on to the adventure itself. It's a first level adventure designed to run in between two and four hours. So it's a little mini adventure. Even if it's a mini adventure though, you're getting a lot here. There's some really great artwork, especially on the cover, and there's some really great monsters and encounters your players can look at. It starts in the city of Kukurubi, um, which is kind of like, uh, there, may, there are a lot of puns here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's see how many you can catch. And in fact, that's part of the fun of the module. They list all the puns that are present within the module in terms of the more more obscure ones that you can find. And it's it's encouraged to award your players when they find these. The town of Kukubri is actually a pun in of itself, so I'll give you that one for free if you can work out what it is. Now, the part first part of the plan in, involved exploring the town, finding out what happened. The town itself went through a series of droughts and famines, basically. They couldn't grow anything or couldn't grow crops big enough to kind of support the town for a long time. Then all of a sudden, something happened and, well, it got quite a lot. There are gourds everywhere. And you arrive to find, kind of figure out why. Well part of your adventure is why. It's kind of like more of a case of you happen to be in the area and this is just a little strange and weird. And then it gets weirder. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but suffice to say some things happen, maybe some dark deals were done, and the gourds come to life. At which point all of the... Uh, all of the townsfolk and everything else start screaming and carrying on a thing, and you're there to kind of save the day, as it were. It's a great little first level adventure, a really good intro into D&D, and actually a really good intro into kind of like a themed adventure as well. It's one of the best ones. It's not overly campy or overly, um, uh, overly done. It's a really nice kind of, there are some, there are some pumpkin monsters there and they're here but it's not like you couldn't run this in say December or you know the middle of July. What did I like about the adventure? Well I really love the length. I like an idea of uh, a shorter adventure. I don't mean I like the idea of an adventure that's been cut down to the point where it's unrecognizable. This doesn't feel like that. This feels like an adventure you could run in two to four hours and every player would be satisfied at the end of the conclusion of the adventure. They wouldn't feel that they got cheated out of things or things had been removed or taken out. It feels like everything in here if your players are smart in the way they go about things and the way they investigate certain bits, I think you could run in two to four hours, complete the whole thing, and be quite happy with it, depending on how your player's playstyle is. If your player styles are more hack and slash and you want to just kill stuff, you probably will complete the whole thing in two hours, and they'll never understand the greater um, lore implications of what they've done. But if your players are more um, investigative, investigatory, um, they, and they look for things and they want to understand the lore and want to understand the why of why this creature is doing what he's doing, then I think you can stretch it out to four hours and you can satisfy those players as well. It strikes that nice balance, which is really, really difficult to do. In addition to that, I like the fact that they've included a unique monster, something that I think every Every adventure needs a single unique creature of some kind to kind of give it that uniqueness. It's fine pulling things from the monster manuals, Mordenkainen's, or um, uh, Volo's Guide to Monsters. But if you throw something in there that a player or a DM has never seen before, it really adds to kind of the polish of, a, of an adventure. What didn't I like about the adventure? Well, nothing. I really like this adventure from end to end. There's not even little niggles I can call out. For its, for its length, for its cost, for its, for its art style, for everything that it presents, everything's been hit on every single point. The only thing I might suggest is maybe having a, a special character art for the Gord King, the little ones, the, the not the big guy who you get on the front cover, but just one piece of additional art there would have been a nice addition. 
but that's like a minor thing and he's act they actually are in the like the bigger image they're just kind of as like um uh, they're as part of the, the the single image so it's kind of like a cut and cut and drag kind of thing everything has been done exceedingly well and that's not surprising because this comes from poison potion press which did one of my favorite adventures shore of dreams um which i'll put a link down in the doobly-doo below um and they are a great um they they are a great they're great people to work with they're great people to kind of like um review stuff for because it's always a breath of both both a breath of fresh air and a really nice adventure so i know this is the section we're supposed to talk about things i don't like but it's quite hard in this one um the only thing i might might look at is while there's a lot here for a lot of different adventure types i think there might be a chance especially in the early uh, where early areas where players kind of don't know what to do maybe having sample adventure hooks for players even at first level might give them a kind of a um, uh, somewhere to go or something to do kind of thing that that but that's a very minor thing it's nice to have i don't think it's necessary in this case there are first level adventures they kind of are just like maybe they're just in town making up an adventure hook in this case isn't that difficult they don't have enough experience to kind of work out any kind of thing that they need to do they're basically country bumpkins at that point barely got out of their training wheels so i don't think it's entirely necessary but it would be nice to have on to my rating so i'm going to be using my perk system same as always and we're going to start with combat same as always combat here is a joy there are two unique monster types and an interesting way of dealing with both of them it's not a simple hack and slash which i loathe and abhor i think players need to be challenged in interesting and unique ways a simple hack and slash beat it till you beat it till one of you rolls higher on dice isn't fun for anyone there needs to be something more to it to give it that interest to give it that thing that makes it a special uh, uh, a special unique combat encounter especially when you've only got one of them as an adventure so it needs to kind of shine really brightly and in this case it does it does a very very good job of it there's an interesting way that you can manage the encounter there are interesting things that happen during the encounter because of the nature of what's happening so it's a really good breath of fresh air here so i rate it five out of five next on to role play role play is also a dream to have there are a lot of interesting characters to to talk to there are a lot of interesting things to look at there are a lot of interesting places to see it's in a festival how would you not like this as a role play heavy character and player you want to do this you want to role play this whole experience out some of those best role play experiences happen during these kinds of things and this adventure gives you the tools to do it it's nice that way and i have to give it a five out of five exploration there is a lot to explore yes it's just a single town but it's a single town with lots of things to kind of look at explore work out what they're doing how they're doing it kind of learning the mysteries of the area learning what's going on what's really going on but your players can also freely ignore that as well and just carry on with the like the combat side of it like i said before a good adventure module gives you the tools in the toolbox to give you what you need to suit your player's play style it's not a case of that you have to use everything in here you pick and choose what fits for your group but here everything is everything is kind of given to you to say here's what i've given you i've given you everything you need to run the perfect adventure and exploration here is also top notch there are so many places and locations to look at and explore and learn what multiple ways you can learn that same information which is a key part of any mystery it's something like you need to give three you need to give the same information in three places to guarantee somebody will find it because otherwise they never will um and it is nice that that's kind of uh, uh, um presented here it gives a good like a good for players that really love exploration i think they'll really enjoy this they'll really enjoy going to the various locations in the village learning various things about what's happening and then when they get to the end and kind of make this kind of like we need to deal with this as quickly as possible kind of like not choice but they can also make a choice at the 
past that mission to kind of influence what happens as a result of things. It's nice. It's a really, really great little exploration portion of the adventure, and I have to give it a 5 out of 5 for that. Finally, on to Polish. It is an incredibly well-polished adventure. There are maps included, there are handouts included, um, the, the monster itself is really gorgeous, really well artistically rendered. Um, the other monster that is, uh, that is special is also artistically rendered in the same image. That's a minor quibble for me, um, but again the maps are also separate files. Everything in here is just really, really well done. It is an incredibly well-polished adventure, especially for the size it is. You could not go... I, I, If you were going to charge money for this, if you were to charge $2, $3 even, I would happily pay it. This is a really well-polished adventure. So, I have to give it 5 there. So, for me, this is a 5 out of 5 adventure. By any, any measurement I can think of, this is a really great adventure for you to pick up. And it's pay what you want. Although you should consider donating to the Extra Life charity, but that's on you. Um, so, that's everything for me. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do use my affiliate codes down below. Um, they do help me out. They help support the channel. And do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. DM Dungo. Peace out.